Hey, what's up, folks? Um, I want to just talk about my tinnitus, tinnitus journey. Um, I'm in my car, so there's traffic, so I'm not really going that fast, so I can talk about it. Anyhow, so you might have seen my other videos, you might not have. So if you never had tinnitus or you didn't know what tinnitus or tinnitus is, basically it's a noise in your ear that nobody else usually hears. Uh, it could be from loud music, loud noises, it could be from nerve damages, uh, TMJ, mouth issues, neck issues, infection, so many things. Um, I think with me, it ended up being some kind of infection that started with some kind of autoimmune disease that hit my nerves. Uh, I had uh, issues with my eyesight, I had double vision, my eyes were crooked, uh, my ear was full, I had that tinnitus, uh, my, my body was numb, I lost my balance, I had vertigo, so that was dizzy. So I had a huge crap load of crap <laughs> that happened to me at once. So after healing, I got tested. I went to another ENT, your nose throat doctor, and they have audiology. And I went last year to a different one, and I went to an audiologist, and they did all these tests. So factually speaking is that I have some hearing loss. So they're saying that my hearing loss, or however I got it, some kind of neuritis, itis, everything's an itis, right, which means inflammation. But um, that hearing loss dropped down, right, it lost here. And because of that, that gap, the brain decided to try to fill in that space and it fill in the space with noise. So that's where I'm at. What was weird though is I have crooked teeth and I decided to try aligners and I popped those in and those made me all weird and it actually changed the pitch of my tinnitus. So there's something more related, but these doctors are telling me basically they can't figure it out. And because there's no technology, the last doctor actually was saying there's no technology that can figure out where your tinnitus is from. And I guess that makes sense because they can't meter a sound that you only can hear and no one else can hear, right? There's no tangible, or I don't know, we're tangible. Yeah, tangible, physical evidence that it's heard but we can hear it if you have tinnitus you know you can hear it it's in there and it's annoying mine's 24 7 um i'll go ahead and put what it sounds like here don't put the volume t too loud because it's, it's, it's damn loud all right so that's what i'm suffering every damn minute every damn day but everybody's different. It could be whooshing, it could be lower frequency, it could be varying. Uh, sometimes mine actually moves. It gets higher and it moves. It goes from here. It's in both ears, but more on my left ear. But it moves. It's freaking like it'll go, like in a circle, just go and just sit here for a second and just kind of go away. I'm not doing anything. So, you know, some people say this triggers for stress. I'm sure stress can help or hurt, I should say, not help you, but uh, uh, accentuate issues and other things. But Going back to my main subject about tinnitus, is it curable? From what I've been talking to these doctors and everything, I mean, if there's a source, if they can find the source, it could be like a bad toothache, it could be whatever, like it could be, if it's a source that could be remedied, I, th I think it's yes, you know? But the problem is, what is the source? Um, mine, like I said, is some kind of nerve damage. That's why I got my hair loss. But other tinnitus, or a lot of the tinnitus, most of us suffer, millions of people suffer from this, is not curable or they haven't figured it out. Mine's actually somatic too. It never did it before when I was sick last year. But now if I jump my girl, if I tilt my head, if I push on my face, uh, it actually changes pitch. It's weird. But they're like, well, that doesn't mean anything. It just happens. It's just a type of tinnitus inflammation exercise uh, issue so going back it's a curable depends unlikely unfortunately so what does that mean for us that are suffering from it we have to deal with it that's the bad news just have to deal with it just like any damn thing in our world or our life we just have to deal with it and hopefully one day it might go away and hopefully it doesn't get worse that's the bigger thing, it doesn't get worse. I know, because it can drive people literally crazy. There are drugs, uh, the drugs are more anti-anxiety drugs. They're more for treatment and therapy, so that way it'll calm you down, because again, it could be stress-related, and also, when you're sick, 
faking you're sicker or making you feel bad is going to make things worse. It always worsens. It never is positive when you feel bad crap, right? So you can take the anti-anxiety medicines if it helps you, cool. But there could be side effects, so that's something you could look into, but definitely look into all your options. Then there's some other stimulating things like a Lanier, right? Um, I believe you put in your tongue, you put in your ear, it's got different sounds, it helps stimulate things, and it's supposed to help help you forget it. So basically, there's the sound things, right? The noises, noise makers. You know, you wanna you wanna have things that'll replicate the sound that is annoying you, the tinnitus frequency, and then that's gonna treat it by making other noises. It's gonna basically try to have you hear it but not hear it, so you could ignore it. So that's that's the actual um, therapy. You gotta figure out a way to go get a therapy to help you ignore it. The medicine's gonna help you ignore it because of the anxiety and help you f not focus on that noise. Or a no sound therapy is gonna do it. Uh, counseling. Uh, never stay in a, a quiet room area. Don't wear like noise isolating headphones like the big ones. Unless you got some noise through it or music or something. Because if it's silent, it's gonna drive you crazy, right? So, um, I, I know you know that, but the people that don't, that people don't have tinnitus, need to, you know, understand what the tinnitus sufferer has. So, uh, silence is not golden. You know, we wish we had silence, but it's not. If it's the library, like super quiet, we're gonna hear it, and it's gonna actually make it worse for us. So, talking to someone that has tinnitus, distracting them. It helps when I have a conversation with people. When I'm even talking, like what I'm doing now, it helps a lot. I'm in my car. It's not a quiet car. Motorcycle, this one right there. Those noises distract me. I still hear it. It's never gone away. It sucks. Some days I feel worse than other days. Just like everybody, we have a bad day. And today, it's just like, eh. When I first got it, it was so hard to sleep. I had to figure out what can make me sleep. People were, you know, people use air conditioning, use a fan. Uh, people play ocean noises, rain noises, uh, green noise, brown noise, white noise. I play all those noises, didn't help me. What I played was 80s music. Hollow Notes, Hollow Notes album, I don't know, just really helped me get in that relaxed state, helped me focus from the 80s. You know, it just was enjoyable. So you gotta find what can distract you, what you can sleep with, and hopefully, get some rest and some sleep it's just it's tough as crap it's tough as hell you know and um, I, I really wish you all the best of luck I hope I hope if you're looking for a cure you find it I still hope you know um, but just you know hang in there that's all we can do is just hang in there right uh, push through push through do that okay uh, post what kind of uh, tonight you got what kind of sounds are you hearing and how are you addressing it? You know, I know some people have seen posts that have been posting for years having tinnitus, so they're so strong. So stay strong, okay? Post below. Thanks for watching.